Hello y'all, welcome to my channel, Saving with Nika. So today we're in CVS, going to do a couple of simple deals. I do have a six on for 30 I need to use. I will not be using any paper coupons, just digitals and CRTs. So let's see what we can grab today. Okay y'all, so the first thing we're going to grab is the Colgate deal. It's a little crowded over there. So we're going to grab the Colgate deal. It is spend 20 get back a $10 extra buck. So the first thing I'm going to grab is the Colgate toothbrush that is priced as $5.99 and the Colgate regular toothpaste, the Optic White. We have a 4 off of 2 digital for that. Then I'm going to grab one of the Colgate Enamel Renew toothpaste for $9.29. So all of that is going to total us up $22.27. So we will be over the $20 rule. Now for the Colgate Renew, we have a $3 digital. And for the other toothpaste and the toothbrush, we have a $4 digital. So that's a total of $7 in savings. And then I will be adding this into a six off of 30 and we'll get back the $10 extra bucks. Okay, so I'm gonna do this on another account only because I have five dollars and thirty cents that's expiring on that account so i'm going to grab one of these pull packs right here priced at 6.99 then we're going to use the coupon and um we're going to pay like a dollar and 49 cents but i do have a 25 percent off purchase coupon that i can use and we do have a thousand kits on shop kit gonna give us back um a total of four dollars in yeah, it's going to give us back $4 for a 1,000 shop kits with the 15 also. So that's going to leave in this to be about $1.49. Okay, y'all, so this is everything we're getting at our first store. I am going to have to go to a second store to get the Pamper deal, which is spin 20, get back 5. My store doesn't have the size I need, but this is what we're getting in our first transaction. We will be doing the poise on a separate card because we have a 20% off, and I have $5.30. I mean, yeah, $5.30 and extra bucks that I need to roll, and I will be submitting that to ShopKit for 1,000 kits, which is $4. I'm going to grab the Elf pop-up. These are priced at $10.95. This is not bad because you will get three um pop-up things and accessory so to me that's about like three dollars and some change each for each one of them also i am grabbing the neutrogena bar this is priced at 369 we have a three dollar digital it's going to bring it down to 69 cents neutrogena is also buy one get one 40 percent off so i'm hoping the mass is included this is priced at 359 the 40 percent off will bring it down to 215 and we have a two dollar digital for that and we're going to do our colgate deal so all of this is going to total us 39 dollars and 26 cents we will be using a six off of 30 all the coupons that I just mentioned should bring us down to $21.26. So I'll be using my $10 care pass and a $10 extra bucks on this transaction, leaving us to pay like $1.26. So only thing that we're actually getting back is a $10 extra bucks for the COVID to me, which is a great deal because I got stuff that I need. So leaving all of this to be like $11.26. But remember, we will be getting back the $4 for that deal also. So it'll maybe be about $6. But I'll let y'all know when we get home, break it down, and let y'all know how much we pay for everything. Okay, y'all, so we made it to our second CVS. So the deal I wanted to do with the other deals was on a swat of Pampers. These are two for $20. Buy to get back a $5 extra bucks i need pampers anyway so i wanted to grab the size five at the other stores but they didn't have any okay so we're gonna grab two of the size five we're gonna pay twenty dollars out of pocket we do have a three off of two coupon it's gonna bring our total down to seventeen dollars for two or about eight dollars and some change no yeah eight dollars and some change each but I do have the $10 extra bucks that I'm going to roll from the Colgate deal, leaving me to pay about $7 out of pocket, get back um, the $5 extra bucks. So, yes.
Okay, y'all, so we have made it back home from our CVS haul today. Like I said, I'm just mainly grabbing stuff I need, stuff that I need for my house. Um, to me, if you don't have a lot of paper coupons, CVS doesn't really have any deals going on. I'm still not getting any good CRTs, so I just basically got stuff that I can actually use and need. I did do a total of three transactions. If I see anything else, I might go back and... um. Finish. I did do a part of the spin 30 get back 10, but um, I didn't see anything else I wanted. I don't have the parasail coupon, so I couldn't do that. I wanted to do the two paste, the 2 dollars one. My store was completely out. I think they only had like one left, so I couldn't do that deal. So I might go back and finish it. I'm not sure at the moment. But yeah, so I did a total of three transactions. My first transaction, I grabbed the Neutrogena right here and the Neutrogena bar right there. These are buy one, get one 40. So the mask is 349. This will ring up 40%, which is $2.15. And the bar is 369. And we have a $3 digital for that, making the bar 69 cents. And we have a $2 digital for the mask, making that 15 cents. Now you can do the spend 10, get back three, if you want to, to get back the $3 extra bucks. I just didn't have any more coupons and I really wasn't trying to pay um, extra money out for something that, you know, I have a lot of facial products, but when I can get them at 69 cent and 15 cents, I try to stock up on them. So when I don't get deals for them, I'll still have them. So the other deal I did on um, that account was, um, I did the Colgate deal. So the Colgate is spend 20, get back 10, which to me is a really good deal because it's better than the spend 30, get back 10. Cause I can, yeah, to me, I feel like you're getting it for 50% off basically. And we have some really, really good coupons. Now I ring mine's up in a certain way. So I got one of the two brushes and one of the optic white tea paces this was $6.99 then I grabbed the Colgate enamel renew this is $9.29 and my toothbrush I want to say that was $5.99 now this is how I want to get up I scan my card I scan the enamel renew first so my three dollar coupon could attach to that then I totaled it out and then went back once my $3 coupon attached to it, I went back and scanned the two brush. So the $4 off of two digital can attach to that. So I scanned the two brush, told it out again, made sure my four off of two was gonna come off. Now, what, what I wasn't expecting was when I scanned the Colgate one, and this was after I had bring everything else up, there was another $2 digital coupon that came off for the Colgate. So that right there told me like $22.47. That was a total of eight, no, $9 in savings already. So leaving me to just pay roughly about what? $13 and got back a $10 extra bucks. So that was like basically a dollar a piece. Now, in that transaction, I did grab this Elves at Play Instant Pop-Up Rocks up right here this to me was a really good deal because i've seen these very very expensive i've seen it as about nine or ten dollars for one so these was at cvs and they're only 10.95 to me i feel like was a really good deal because you get the rockstar and you get the donut shop and a spa day one and it comes with like 31 pieces for 10.95 to me which a great awesome deal because you can kind of miss and match so I do do the 24 days of Christmas with my kids where I hide the F around the house. So this will actually come in really, really handy this year. So that was my first transaction. So let's look at a copy of our receipt. Here are all the items that I grabbed. As you see, all the Colgate coupons come off. There's the two Neutrogena coupons. In this transaction, I did have a six off of 30. I rolled $20 in extra bucks and then like 2%, which is like 17 cents, leaving me to only to pay 48 cents. Now, what I didn't discuss in this transaction was when I actually saw the gum, I mean, when I actually saw the other Colgate digital come off, I knew that one of my $10 CR extra bucks was going to adjust down. So I picked up this gum for $1.59 to not 
make it adjust but so much so that's why i have the gum up here because i didn't want to lose out any extra bucks so that left me to pay 48 cents plus tax which is a dollar and 49 cents but we rolled 20 dollars in extra bucks we did get back um 10 for the colgate which is fine for me i am tracking towards the um avino and neutrogena deal and i'm tracking towards the spend 30 get 10 deal but that was fine with me so leaving all of these items which is the neutrogena items the gum the colgate products and this to only be eleven dollars and ninety eleven dollars and forty nine cents which is fine because this is ten dollars by itself so i basically paid for this got the neutrogena the gum and the colgate for free it's a great deal for me so the next um transaction i did was on this boys pads right here these are priced at six dollars and sixty nine cents now on my one of my accounts i had a five dollar extra bucks that was about to expire and i had a 20 percent off total purchase so i just picked up one of these for 6.99 used that five dollar extra bucks my 20 percent 25 percent off my total purchase leaving me to pay here's a copy of my receipt so that left me to pay a dollar and 26 cents plus tax which is a dollar and 70 cents now there is a shop kit for this which is a thousand kits which is four dollars so that brings my total down to just two dollars and 26 cents for one of these because on shop kick it's a thousand points which is equivalent to four dollars so leaving me to only pay two dollars and 26 cents so to me that was a great deal so my last and final transaction was on the peppers right here i was going to do them at the other store but they didn't have the size five that i wanted so i went to a different cvs so i did grab them also um, let me actually put this because in that transaction i did grab these the hooks right here so i did grab the hooks so all of them three items right there for the peppers they are two for 20. we have a three dollars off of two digital coupon so i did roll 15 dollars in extra bucks that i used that i got last week that i just needed to spend so i did roll that um and i just rolled two percent my cashes that i had so here's a copy of their receipt also i grabbed these ornament hooks right here these are ringing up as 199 so that wasn't a bad deal for them because you get 200 hooks i feel like it's a great deal so here's a copy of their receipt there's my two pampers there's the hooks there's my pampers digital my 15 dollars in extra bucks my two percent uh the care pass 20 percent off leaving me to pay three dollars and 89 cent plus tax which is five dollars and 42 cents to me great awesome deal um i did get back the five dollar extra bucks so to me that only left me to pay about fifteen dollars about fifteen dollars for these diapers which is about seven dollars and fifty cents each which to me which is not a bad deal so everything you see here is roughly about um, I don't know what my exact total is, but I want to say it's about maybe 50 or $60 in total for everything here. So after our three transactions, we paid about $29 in 17 cent for all of these items, which my main cost was the diapers. But I was like, if I'm gonna have to get them anyway, might as well do a little savings because if we should track the $15 from 29, that's leaving us to pay only $14 for the other items, which is not a bad deal for all of these products. Like I said, when you're couponing, make sure you're getting stuff that you can use. If you're a reseller, get stuff that you can actually resell. Don't get stuff that's actually just going to sit there. You can't sell it or collect this. I'm trying to get stuff that I can use or resell. So make sure you think about that when you're getting all of these items. And if you can throw in some free items and you know it's somebody you can give them to, then also do that. But like I said, it's great to get things that you can need and use and that your family needs and use also. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when i upload a video and i'll talk to y'all later bye